Okay. Um, <clears throat> I had a uh, request um, for a video on the uh, Texaco gas station here. Um, I also have a mobile gas station that's uh, pretty close to this. Uh, it's, um, well, let's see here. Let's just run down what it is. It's built out of styrene like I build all my buildings. Um, sheet styrene from Evergreen uh, and other parts from Evergreen and Plastistruct. Uh, it's, you know, typical of the uh, mid-century uh, gas station design that was made back then. Uh, a lot of these are still in use. Uh, a lot of them been repurposed for other buildings. Um, but uh, I built this um, from uh, basically uh, sheet styrene. Um, let's grab a package of it here. I'll show you what I built this out of mostly. And that's evergreen scale models. It's a, the sidewalk pattern, which is right there. But that's how these start is basically by, with a stack of these and uh, doors and other miscellaneous parts. Um, so this is what we got here. We're going to open up the roof. Um, Got to use a razor blade for that. Get in the corner here. And, oops. Sorry about the finger there. Let's get this corner up here. Okay. All right. Got the corner up here. We got kind of a semi semi detailed interior. Um, you know, so we can always add whatever details they want to it. Um, the uh, doors here open. I just have them in with a, a guide of, uh, of I-beam there. And the doors just slide right in. Let's see here. Oops. It's kind of hard to do when you're Trying to video and there we go. Put that right back in. But all these doors lift up. They can be removed, you know. So if you want to display it differently, you can. Um, there's a picture of the office inside. But, um, you know, various, I used various decals on them. Some of the stuff is from Dave's decals. Some of it's from uh, Microscale. Um, the letters I got at Hobby Lobby, I think they were. Uh, little stars I also got at Hobby Lobby. Um, these, are, uh, these aren't uh, painted on or decaled. These are little pieces of painted uh, styrene that we used, or I used to... Uh, Put the uh, feet or the design up there. But you can see what we did here. Um, basically, it's built in a box. You know, you got your you got your floor, you got your walls. You know, some extra support to keep it stiff. Um, this one uh, has a double double thickness fronted front on it. Um, there's two layers of plastic, it makes it a little stiffer. That's how I build the buildings I build for myself. Um, this one's built a little bit lighter than I than I would myself. Uh, I originally built this to uh, sell at a car show. I had a friend of mine that was doing a car show and he would needed vendors and asked if I could make a few things to bring to, you know, put on a table. And so I built this and the, uh, and the um, mobile station and uh, Try to sell them, and uh, everybody thinks they're really cool and everything, but nobody wants to pay the cost. Um, they weren't cheap, and, you know. And and basically, something like this would just for the materials alone, um, and that doesn't include if you wanted lighted up signs or any kind of lights in it. But just the the plastic itself is um, seven dollars a sheet, and you're going to use you know probably. 
four or five sheets of plastic easily to build one of these. Then plus the, the cost of the doors and the windows, um, you know, and the other details that you're putting on it. Um, material wise, probably easily $50, $60 um, just for the materials and paint. Um, it's not cheap, you know, uh, but people look at it and go, oh, that's really cool. And then you tell them how much you want for it. And they go, oh my gosh, that is so expensive. How can you sell it that high? And it's like, well, I don't because nobody wants to pay for the quality, <laughs> you know. Um, this is a tough little building. Uh, this building actually fell off the top of my car uh, once. Um, I was I took it down to the hobby shop to show it off. And uh, on the way back, I forgot where I put it, and I left it on top of my car and took off, and it blew off, but it didn't break. It, it, it got a little bit, I can't even find what damage it was on it anymore. There was like a little a little chip, I think, on the bottom or something like that. The base popped off of it, but it was just basically anything that came off of it was glued, and so it was just a really easy repair. You know, in fact, nobody would even know unless, you know, they listened to me talk and discovered that I had um, had this thing dropped, but I just, you know, testifies to the, uh, solid construction that I do with these. Um, so what's the fate of this one? I don't know. Maybe somebody will, you know, pay me what I want for it. Um, maybe I'll give it away as a gift. I don't know. Um, I already have a, a Texaco station and I tell you the truth. I think this one is better. I, I like, I like, you know, the way I, I mean, they're both the same building, you know, they're both the same size and everything, but I think I did a little bit better job on this one than I did um, the one that I actually have on my diorama. Um, so that's a pretty nice piece, I think. But this was a request from uh, one of you viewers, and I listen to you guys, and I do uh, respond as much as I possibly can. And I'm going to go get the... Uh, mobile gas station out and we're going to show that one off all right so here's the uh, mobile station this is the counterpart to the uh, Texaco station that I uh, just showed everybody this is just the other building that I had built um, I've had it sitting in a box for about a year but let's see the details Messed up a little bit on the glass on there. Got some fingerprints on there back when I built it. And uh, looks like my Pegasus is starting to decal, kind of delaminate a little bit off of there. Um, so what I would I would fix that before I would, you know, consider selling this thing. I have to go through and do a few repairs on it. But uh, this one I built along with the uh, Texaco station in order to... Uh, sell it at the car show um never sold it uh had it at a friend's antique stall for a while and you know it's the same thing you know everybody thinks they're really cool but nobody really wants to pay the amount of money that it takes to to build this you know it's just it's a lot of time um uh, i would probably say you know a good 15 15 hours maybe or so just on average 12 15 hours of work to build something like this uh, you know it, it goes together fairly quick but there's just there's so much detail work in the painting and you know getting everything just right um, takes time you know putting all the decals on that takes time but this one doors all open up they're all removable they open and close. This one you get a sign with it and some pumps. And if somebody did, you know, want to buy this, I would sell it. Um, might let it go a little cheaper if I didn't have to redo some of the, uh, if I didn't have to redo the Pegasus, I'd probably sell it a little cheaper maybe. Or I might just take the Pegasus off of it. And I don't have a replacement decal for that. I 
mean, these buildings aren't, they're not complicated to build. And, and if you, if you watch, um, I do have a video that will be coming out soon on, um, building with styrene. And, um, uh, I go through a complete build of, um, the, uh, junkyard building. Um, right now I'm working on its lighting. So I'll be doing the, uh, final, um, shooting for the rest of that video, um, over the weekend. Hopefully I get it done by Monday, get that video out. But this is just a little, you know, this was a request uh, by one of my subscribers that they really wanted to see the uh, Texaco gas station. And so I figured, well, I will also show this. And uh, it is available. Uh, if anybody wanted to buy it, you can message me and we could work out a deal on it. Um, not, they're not cheap. <laughs> Just let you know that, you know, so if you're looking to buy something as a toy and you're looking at me and you go, well, gee, Greenlight sells their gas stations for $24. It's like, you know, go buy a Greenlight gas station. They're not, they're not quite scale. <laughs> they're not really that realistic. I don't think, you know, I'm not very impressed with the Greenlight buildings at all. Um, this is, this is 164 scale. Um, it's based off of actual gas stations, and uh, I made it to look as close to the prototype gas stations as I could. And, uh, you know, like I've said in my other videos, I am a, a stickler for scale, having things proper scale. So it is 164. Um, you can do the measurements and check yourself. <laughs> so anyways, but... You know, if, you, if anybody's interested in either of these gas stations, get a hold of me. And, you know, we could probably work some kind of a deal out on them. Uh, just don't expect a low ball on it because, you know, I'll keep them, you know, rather than sell them at a loss. I mean, I, you know, I could always use the money, you know, for my, to put in, you know, the rest of my diorama. But, you know, I'm not afraid to uh, sit on it, you know, to... Anyways, um, so that's about it for this video. Uh, please uh, comment, uh, ask any questions. I'm generally pretty good uh, about answering questions. The only time uh, there is, seems to be a glitch in some of the comments uh, on YouTube as far as I can't answer them for some reason. I tried to answer somebody's comment today and it, uh, every time I clicked on the comment, it disappeared. So I don't know if they removed the comment or whatever, but I really wanted to answer the question. And, uh, you know, people ask, you know, have any questions, I will definitely uh, answer best I can. And I like to share the information. That's, you know, kind of the whole purpose behind the uh, YouTube channel here is to uh, share the information, teach people how I do this so people can do it for themselves. And, uh, you know, it will improve the, uh, our uh, our herd so to speak of uh, builders and uh, this is just one way to build it and there's other guys that have their own ways of building stuff uh, this is the way I do it and it works pretty well I feel so uh, feel free to uh, comment uh, please like that's uh, always important uh, uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber uh, share it with your friends anybody that you may think that might be interested in the channel uh, we will be making a lot of videos. I, I've been trying to do one a week, but I've been not successful at it. Uh, so we, I try to get out as many videos as I can. Uh, so here we go. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.